It's a celebration, not a protest. Those who want Crimea to return to Russia feel they've already won. The result of next Sunday's referendum, a foregone conclusion. They got a big crowd out this morning. Things are moving at an extraordinary pace here. Three weeks ago, no one was talking about Crimea leaving Ukraine. Now, they're talking of a new future as part of the Russian Federation. But everything about that future is rooted in the past, in history, in interpretations of history, in what people remember, what they can't forget. The old Soviet Union is regarded with nostalgia today's Russia, an emblem of past glory. It's our motherland, our historical motherland, and we're very glad that Crimea is going back to Russia. Sabrie remembers history rather differently. She and her family are Tatars, native to Crimea. Stalin accused them of siding with the Nazis and deported them to Uzbekistan in 1944. She was 10. Half the deported Tatars died. Sabrie's family suffered but survived. Returning to the Crimean town of Bakchisarai half a century later to find Russians in their old family house. Вот в старом городе Бакчисарае в моем доме живут русские. Подойди, спроси. Это же захватчики. Это его. Я там не жила, это его. Захватил он к себе. Так и Путин так думает. Где бы что отхватить? Tatars and Russians live peacefully in Bakchisarai now. We came across a Tatar wedding, celebrated in traditional style, a bid for a happy future. But on the other side of town, someone has scratched crosses on the gates of a few Tatar houses, the sign Stalin's men used in 1944. Neither the Tatars nor Russians wanted to talk about it. It seems to me this is the influence of the West on Crimean Tatars, trying to stir things up. We won't let this happen. I'm telling you, we've always lived in peace with the Tatars, and we always will. I asked Sabrie what she felt as a little girl when she was being deported. До сих пор это ненависть. До сих пор я не знаю, за что меня отсюда вывезли, увезли. Мне уже 80 лет, но я не знаю, за что я пострадала. Ответа нету. The peace in Bakchisarai belies its violent history. As we left, two Russian attack helicopters flew by Sabrie's house. A reminder of in whose hands the future lies.